My name is Paul Bredwell. I'm with the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association, and today we're in Decatur, Alabama, visiting the Wayne Farms Further Processing Facility. And we're actually here today visiting the Wastewater Treatment Facility because their tra treatment facility has been selected as a semifinalist for the U.S. Poultry Clean Water Award. Today, uh, Jesse Fletcher is with me, and uh, apparently Jeff, Jesse wears many hats, but uh, one hat he does wear is the uh, Wastewater Treatment Facility manager. Jesse, how are you doing? Pretty good. How about you? I'm good, thank you. Jesse, can you kind of tell us what the facility does here? I mean, overall, and then, and then the uh, wastewater treatment facility oh, as well? We're full of, we're the, we're full of processing facility here in Decatur. We actually have two plants on one side. Okay. Your, uh, your wastewater treatment facility, can you give me some background, maybe some of the treatment equipment you use up there? Yes, we, we discharge all of our water from the plants into a square pit. From the square pit, it's carried through the roto screen and then from the rotor screen to our equalization basins. From the equalization basins, we treat it in the DAF and send it to the POTW, city's POTW. Okay. What kind of what kind of flow rate do you treat on a daily basis? About a million gallons a day. A million gallons a day. Can you uh, can you share with us maybe some of the, the innovations you put into effect here recently? Uh, the biggest innovation is probably our automated jar test system. Uh, we've developed an automated system of jar testing rather than the traditional. Uh, gangster method. It's okay. actually an online test that's performed in the pipe, so the results are a little more accurate for us. So, so all computer-based then, take, taking uh, taking human intervention out of your, your jar test? There. Yes, sir. It's all PLC and computers. Okay. And what is what has that done for the uh, treatment efficiency? It's actually dropped our chemical cost by about $141,000 a year and dropped our surcharges by about the same amount. Oh, fantastic. Uh, labor costs also have gone down. We're looking at about uh, two hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year savings. And uh, any other any other innovations you put into effect here recently? Yeah, we've used uh, we've we've changed our polymer mixing. We use dry polymers at this facility because of cost, and uh, we had a real problem with polymer effectiveness. So we we integrated a polymer mixing system okay. to better mix the polymer. And that's, that's reduced your cost as well? Yes, sir. It's made the polymer more efficient. Well, fantastic. Well, Jesse, I appreciate it, and uh, good luck.